Tous, on se retrouve pour notre troisième, quatrième, même épisode de notre let's play. Euh... Et donc, non, on ne va pas le, le recommencer. Euh... Mais on va plutôt jouer sur la partie YouTube. Et donc, c'est arrêté euh, quand, on... quand on a rencontré Mira à King's Landing. Euh... Et donc où Lady Marjorie donc euh, la, lui a demandé de, de la suivre. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden, a dear friend in fact. Thank you, my lady. Gentil, madame. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira, but you must not despair. We will get through this together. J'espère bien. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least oh, oui, alors pour ceux qui regardent pas, qui ont pas lu les livres ou qui regardent pas la série. Euh, les Lannister et les Stark, ils sont pas très amis. Hein She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? She intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. Okay, I wouldn't ask aussi. this of you if it were not important. Mm. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. Yeah, well, I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Gentil. Tell her what she wants to hear. Okay, but je vais dire ce qu'elle veut entendre. On, on va pas faire. Euh... See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive. Ouais, je la joue un petit peu intelligent. C'est pas parce qu'on pense quelque chose qu'on va dire. Euh... Donc voilà. Ah, qu'est-ce que tu regardes toi You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. C'est exactement ce qu'on va faire. Ah. Good luck. Merci. Allez. Il faut pas lui mentir. Enfin, s'il faut lui mentir, justement, qu'est-ce que je raconte Hop. Ah bah tiens, il n'y a pas que Cersei, il y a aussi son frère Tyrion Lannister. Dernier né des trois Lannister. You can do this. Dont le plus connu euh, est le Kingslayer, le Régicide. Et hop, on va alors avancer... Allez, sprint un peu. Je trouve qu'il y a beaucoup de gens, genre il y a des paysans là, je sais pas ce qu'ils foutent là. En tout cas, les décors sont, euh, franchement, ils sont bien faits. Euh, très bien faits, les ah, Lady Marjorie, sont bien dessinés. Ah, c'est très gentil. Lord Tyrion. Ah merde, c'est Your Grace. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. 
Alors il faut euh, leur dire oh, c'est un plaisir, s'agenouiller, s'agenouiller, on s'agenouille, on fait le plaisir. Your grace. Oh, oh. La reine est contente. Your grace is impressive. You may rise. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Oh. Is oui. your family loyal to the king? Bien sûr qu'on l'est. Attends. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. Ah, uh, notre été. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Voilà. Hmm. And yet, for centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. Parce que c'est des gens gentils. A house of traitors. On va te faire foutre. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this ah, is the shit. kind of loyalty the king can expect from you, ah, if you have any dire. loyalty at all. Mm. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Ah non, ça c'est mort. Roose Bolton also served the Starks, Your Grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, non, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Bien sûr, bien sûr, Forrester bien sûr. Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. Ah, non, I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Bah, oui, je Ask any ça. Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Ah, c'est pas faux. Moi, j'ai rien fait. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Ah, non, bon, Should pas. she be held accountable? Ah, non. Je, bon, je, je ne la juge pas. I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Ah, merci Tyrion. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists blah, looking to blah, 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 blah. pretending to be something they're not. Ah, il dit de la merde. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? If you are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king that must be absolute, beyond question. Right. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. Voilà. Donc j'ai dit ce qu'elle voulait qu'elle voulait, mais que Marjorie elle a pas trop aimé en fait. Anything to get what she wants, which is not very encouraging. Solo. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Là, et que tu me regardes en mode grosse pute, je fais ce que tu voulais que je fasse. Alors, Tyrion, si on parlait un peu. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't dress Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. 
Ah, c'est un été, hein. en effet. You have my condolences for his loss. Euh, These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was mm. quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. Buffle. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. What are you suggesting? Eh ouais. Qu'est-ce que tu veux me dire? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Ah, ça, ça serait cool. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Euh, la dernière fois, je n'avais pas, pas pris le risque. Et là, je vais peut-être prendre le risque. C'est un risque que je dois prendre, Lord Tyrion. S'il vous plaît. Vous êtes une brave fille, n'est-ce pas Je vais le considérer. Maintenant, si vous me permettez, je vous promets que Sansa serait venue à dîner aujourd'hui. Trois belles bottes de Dornish wine attendent mon arrivée. La mere pensée de ça me fait thirsty déjà. Merci pour le conseil, Lord Tyrion. Juste be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Il faut vraiment avoir confiance en ce mec parce que c'est Tyrion et Tyrion, tu peux toujours avoir confiance en lui. Il va pas te niquer dans le dos. Euh, c'est ce que j'ai appris au moins de la série. J'ai pas lu euh, tous les livres. Euh... Hop. Mira, I was worried. Allez, viens là, Jean-Pierre. How was it? Ça allait, hein. pas Cersei tellement, je vais passer. It went well. Really? That's relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. difficult. Ouais. C'est pas faux. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. Oh, la la. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told uh. he has a paramour. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. No. Oh, on va se faire niquer par Marjorie, tu vas voir. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Un peu pervers. Pas pour Perhaps te Lady déplaire. Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows, we might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant oh. you'd become queen? No, 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 Joffrey. He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Family, so, so it. I'd marry anyone if it helped my family. Right, of course. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. <laughs> Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect match! Oh, no, no, Sir Bronn and... Oh. What are you doing? On fait rien, madame. Euh... Well, Sarah. Moi je dis rien. We're both sorry, my lady. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they mm. say it is men who are powerful. Oh, oh, oh. The queen was pleased by your display, Mira. Faut que je dise que je voulais pas dire. Over. Faut que je dise que je voulais pas King's dire. Landing can be exhausting sometimes. 
There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Yeah. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. <rire> On va t'aimer. Do you On agree? On va s'aimer. Hein, de quoi Ça a raison, c'est dur de plaire. Seul importe ce que... It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. J'ai pas entendu dire rêve. Stay avec les brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. Ah les Boltons ils m'ont niqué ma famille s'il te plaît. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her as difficult as it may have been. Thank you my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Oui. Alors qu'est-ce qui se passe Demander son aide. Euh... On va peut-être pas demander son aide vu qu'on l'a demandé à Tyrion. Non, ouais. Ça va nous amener des, des soucis, je pense. Donc on va My mother wanted me to ask a favor of you, for my family. But as you said, you're in a delicate position now with the wedding so near, and I would never want to jeopardize that. Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. Mm. Of course, my lady. You're right. Better to wait. Okay. Voilà, donc euh, on va arrêter cet épisode ici euh, où j'ai fait une décision assez. Enfin, j'ai pris une décision assez importante qui est de ne pas demander l'aide de Marjorie. Euh, car je l'ai déjà demandé à Tyrion et que ça pourrait demander à, aux, aux deux camps en fait différents, ça pourrait m'apporter euh, pas mal de problèmes, surtout que Lady Marjorie, là, il a fallu que je lui sauve un petit peu la peau, si je lui demande un truc, euh, déjà qu'elle est à moitié niquée, euh, je pense que tout va nous retomber dessus. Donc on va essayer de, de la jouer calme, elle sait euh, qu'on euh, qu a une faveur à lui demander, mais on ne l'a pas fait, donc techniquement euh, ça ne l'engage à rien, et ça ne nous engage à rien non plus, euh, à part avec Tyrion, qui va peut-être nous aider, j'ai plus confiance en Tyrion, euh, qu'en euh, qu en Marjorie, euh, donc euh, voilà. C'est donc la fin de ce euh, quatrième épisode, enfin, épisode chapitre, euh, voilà, et on se retrouvera plus tard donc pour le cinquième épisode de, de, ce, de cette série, de ce petit let's play. Merci d'avoir regardé cette vidéo et à la prochaine.